it's a great honor to be representing my community, Montgomery County, Maryland, at the Democratic National Convention. I was deeply honored to have been elected by voters in the Democratic primary. I do believe that my party has always stood for the values in which we believe, especially values of tolerance and an appreciation of diversity. No matter what background um, Americans have, no matter where they were born or what language they speak at home, uh, every American makes a contribution to the quality of our lives and the strength of our economy, and we reject messages that try to pit one group against another or try to suggest that some Americans are more valid or better than other Americans. We are all Americans, um, whether we are first generation immigrants, second generation immigrants, third generation immigrants, we're a country of immigrants. And I'm very concerned at the tone of bigotry and hate that I heard uh, from the other party. And, and we, we reject that in Montgomery County. We are proud of our diversity. We're proud to be a community that brings people together from many different backgrounds to, to grow and learn and succeed together. I attended two conventions before in 1996 and the year 2000, but this is my first opportunity to serve as a convention delegate, and I'm deeply honored to represent my community um, and within the Democratic Party structure. As a delegate, I will um, participate in all the activities of the convention. I will be voting on the platform and voting to nominate our party's candidates for president and vice president. There are three members of the county council who have been selected as convention delegates, myself, and uh, Nancy Florine and Craig Rice, all three of us will be delegates to the Democratic National Convention. I'm just honored to have the opportunity to uh, represent this community and um, I'll be communicating from the convention. You can look at my Facebook page. I'll be sending back photographs and, uh, and messages about what we're hearing and learning about how we can strengthen our party and make sure that um, every voter participates on November 8th.